Okey-dokey. Wonderful. I thought I would make this video because I keep getting asked this question. Specifically since there's a lot of new Fujifilm users. Okay. Now, some lenses, as you, I'm sure, know, as a Fujifilm user, have optical image stabilization, and some do not. Now, if you're an X-H1 owner, you actually have the opportunity to engage image stabilization, i.e. the IBIS Mac, or the dancing sensor, as I love to call it, with a non-optical image stabilization lens. So this, for example, has OIS, right? Turn it off or on, okay? And, of course, we can go into our menu system. Now, the X-T3, of course, does not have uh, uh, IBIS Max, a fixed sensor. And, of course, as I've said, and people hate it when I say that, even though it's 1,000% true, nobody needs IBIS unless you're a video user or you have Parkinson's disease. You know, you got the shakes. I hate to say that, but no photographer needs IBIS. You could hate that or like that. That doesn't really matter to me either way, but I'm correct. Here's the issue that everybody keeps making, specifically with longer lenses like the 55 to 200 or the 100 to 400 millimeter Fujifilm lens. Now, there is a thing on your camera in the uh, shooting menu and shooting settings on page one. And it's also true of uh, medium format cameras. Now, what they'll actually not say, whether it's uh, mode one or mode two, uh, depends on which Fujifilm camera you have. Mode one is continuous. Mode two is shooting only. Now, uh, the X-T3 and the X-T2 will say both, one and two. Like on other Fujifilm cameras, it will strictly say continuous or shooting only, but nevertheless, it's the same thing. That continuous is rather self-explanatory. This means that if it's uh, like a non-IBIS camera, like the X-T3, or this uh, GFX camera, or the X-T2, which does not have an IBIS, that uh, optical image stabilization is continuous the entire time. So you see a stabilized image before, during, and after you take the shot. Now, you should only be using this, and there's no fixed uh, shutter speed, but you should really only be using this at like 1 60th of a second or 1 1 25th of a second and lower. Specifically, really only like at 1 60th of a second or lower. Actually, even lower than that. Technically, like 1 30th and lower. But we can say 1 60th and lower. There's no set rule that Fujifilm lines out. And then it also depends on the length of the lens and several other factors. But we could specifically say like 1 1 25th of a second or less. Now, this is good and bad. The bad part of it is, is that people don't read, and actually Fujifilm is at fault here, okay? Why is Fujifilm at fault? Because even in the menu, I mean, excuse me, in the user manual, they do not tell you the specifics of this. It's like, listen, image stabilization, whether it is IBIS or lens stabilization, okay, can actually induce shake as much as it can eliminate shake, okay? Vibration control, and this is a factor uh, not only from Canon, but also from Nikon and Fujifilm, can induce shake as much as it can eliminate it. You should not be using, and continuous is default, on each and every Fujifilm camera. If you like slap an OIS lens on it, like I have this 80mm macro, which has image stabilization, can, uh, number one, or continuous, is standard and when people are using like their 100 to 400 and this is like I said typical of the issue that people encounter with the 55 to 200 telephoto or the 100 to 400 Fujifilm telephoto lens people are like oh my god there's something wrong here you know I'm shooting at like a 1 500th or 1 1,000th or 1 2,000th of a second uh, shutter speed and uh, you know my image is blurry why is that it's like well it's because Fujifilm made a mistake and not telling you, okay, that continuous mode is default, you're shooting at faster shutter speeds, and what's happening is that the image stabilization is inducing shake. You should be, if you're shooting above 1 500th of a second, or even really, depends on how good your hand-holding techniques are. If you're shooting 1 250th or higher, or specifically, damn well, 1 500th or higher, you should have OIS off. O-F-F. -F. Or at best, you know, if you're going with various lighting conditions, like you're doing wildlife photography, you're passing between, you know, uh, brightly lit areas and shadows, and you might drop down to, say, 1 100 and uh, 1 125th of a second or 160th of a second, at least in OIS mode 2. 
In other words, there's always sufficient lighting where everything is basically 1 125th of a second or higher. You should be in OIS mode too, which is called shooting only. Like I said, not every Fujifilm camera says mode 1, mode 2, but it is always the case, regardless of any Fujifilm camera, that mode 1 is continuous and mode 2 is shooting only. So it will usually say on some Fujifilm cameras, continuous or shooting only. Shooting only means that the image stabilization, whether that be the IBIS or the optical image stabilization, or both in conjunction, as in the case of the Fujifilm X-H1, are only engaging when you fully depress the shutter release to take the shot. Not half press, but once you fully depress it. So that's when it's kicking in. But if you're shooting way up there at 1 500th and higher, you shouldn't be using image stabilization at all. But if you want to, even though I don't recommend it, be in, be in shooting mode or mode 2. The Fujifilm does make a mistake. And, not, and this has caused people consternation. Because they think, well, you know, the image, you know, I'm looking through the viewfinder here. The shot is stabilized. I like that. Well, everybody likes that. Um, half depressing the shutter release, the image is still stabilized. Well, everybody likes that too. Yeah, but that's the default, and that default continuous shooting mode is not recommended for faster shutter speeds. So people are thinking like, oh my God, there's something wrong with this new 55 to 200 Fujifilm lens I got, or oh, there's something wrong with this new 100 to 400 uh, millimeter Fujifilm lens, you know, the big telephoto that uh, I got. And that's not the case. What is happening is, and it doesn't matter if it's X-H1, X-T2, or X-T3, the X-H1, obviously you have two types, depending on the lens you have mounted, two types of image stabilizing mechanisms on there. One is OIS, if it's an OIS lens on your camera, and of course, the IBIS mech, which of course is the uh, image stabilization of the actual sensor itself. And of course, they do work in conjunction if you choose to set it that way. That's the mistake you're making is that uh, you're actually causing the inducement of shake by shooting at higher shutter speeds, but you're seeing something that you like. And this is the mistake that people are making. Everybody loves to see that stabilized image before they have pressed the shutter release, as they have pressed it. They, they, everybody likes that, but that does not mean that's what you should be doing. Because if you're shooting at faster shutter speeds, you do not want continuous image stabilization engaged. This is not my opinion, by the way. It is a hardcore, undeniable fact of Nikon, Canon, Sony, even Fujifilm, that OIS can undeniably induce shake, right? See, what people don't realize, and if you think about it, it's extremely, aha, of course. The very same thing that is used to null out shake Listen very closely. Let me say that again. The very same thing that is used to null or zero out shake, whether that be IBIS or lens stabilization, is itself also a shaking mechanism. Just think about that for a second. Okay? The same thing that is used to null out or zero shake due to slow shutter speeds or your handshake is also itself a shaking mechanism. Optical image stabilization is a shaking mechanism. IBIS, in-body image stabilization, or the dancing sensor, as I love to call it, is also a shaking mechanism. Hey! <laughs> That's my idea of shaking. This is a key point, and Fujifilm is at fault for not elaborating on this in detail in any user manual of any Fujifilm camera. Hello, Fujifilm. The X-T2, the X-T3, the X-H1, the GFX, don't matter what camera it is. Fujifilm is at fault for not explaining this. And what it has done, it has caused consternation amongst people to go seeking for information. Or, worse still, and this is a bad thing that, that Fujifilm needs to realize, is that it'll get someone the idea of like, well, this lens is obviously messed up because when I've taken some shots outside, you know, the images are all blurry. This lens is obviously jacked. And so they'll return the lens. But the lens is fine. They're just, they're like shooting pictures of uh, cardinals or the speckle-breasted woodpecker at one two-thousandth of a second. In the default, 
stabilization mode, which is continuous. And you ain't supposed to be shooting pictures of the speckle-breasted woodpecker or motorcycles going around the corner, whatever the hell you're shooting, with continuous image stabilization at those fast shutter speeds because OIS, all forms of image stabilization in any cameras, whether it be Nikon, Sony, Canon, they're all the same. Okay? They are shaking mechanisms that are used to null out shake from slow shutter speed and or handshake. I think this was a really good video. It was informative. It might have been a bit long-winded, but it is informational. And I think that should be helpful to you because I like being helpful. Namaste. I'm wearing the right robes for it. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm going to warm my hands by the fire after this video because it's so damn cold here right now. I hope you like this video. If you do, you can always drop a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff, you know. I could sure use a big greasy pizza right now. What about you? Pepperoni? <laughs> I do miss a pizza. I haven't had a pizza in a long time. Oh, God. I think I had a dream last night about a big juicy pizza. I was sleeping with it. No, I shouldn't have said that. I'm going to edit that out of this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching so much. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Fujifilm.